there's a chance. The Rich Eisen shows that there could be higher register <laughs> take of the week. All right, there we go. Uh, let's do it. let's let's uh, let's keep the order going the way that it's been lately. I like it. It's Chris, you're first, and then TJ, you'll go, and then I'll 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 bring, bring it home. home. What do you got over there, Chris? Gentlemen, Masters is going on right now. Yes, it is. In Augusta, Georgia, the first time ever in November. It looks amazing. Tiger Woods shot a 68 yesterday, guys. Okay. Did you know it's the first bogey-free round in a major for Tiger since 2009? Okay. First time in 23 Masters appearances, Tiger shot a first round without a bogey. Okay. He hit 10 of 14 fairways. Yesterday, Tiger's been struggling off the tee for years. Hit 15 greens. Okay. Shot a 68, guys. I don't want to call my shot. Uh-oh. Again. But I think Tiger's going to win this, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's going to win. He's going to win this thing. <laughs> Just again, everyone understands, you've gone higher register on maybe Tiger can do this. And he tees off for his second round in about a half an hour, and it looks like he'll be anywhere between three to five shots back. Well and, done. And if he shoots a 65 today, he's going to win this thing. Very good. What do you have over there, TJ Jefferson? What's your I, high register? You know, I, I didn't want to go this route, but I think that's what it is expected of me at this point. Uh -huh. So we're going to continue down this Cowboys path. Now, look. We got a buy this week, which is great for me because I don't have to worry about taking an L. Right. But I think that that performance against the Steelers last week, Rich, I think that kind of injected something into the veins of these players. I think Garrett Gilbert was inspiring. Garrett sir. Gilbert, and he was, by the way, Super Bowl winner. Garrett Gilbert. Let's That's put correct. some respect on That's his right. name. And I feel like hanging in there, going blow for blow with an undefeated team, may have done something for that team and lit a spark. So I'm going to say it. Once we come back from this buy, I think. Uh, Dallas is definitely going to run the table and uh, run the table. Well, we're going to regroup oh. after the bye. We're going to run the, the table. table. Oh, I can table see it run. There's differences between being in the mix or turning it around, but run the table. Run. Hey, we're going to run the table. Hold on a second here. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. At Minnesota, w. Thanksgiving, Washington, at w. Baltimore. W. At Joey Burrow. W. <laughs> Sunday night football for, against San Francisco. W. Philadelphia. Oh, that's a clear W. At the Giants. That's easy. That's, that's a easy table. Work. That's 8 0, huh? Baby. Oh, wait on a minute. Well, that's 7 0. There you go. 7 0. Wow. Very good. I feel it. All right. <laughs> I'm a bold. That's a bold. That's a bold higher <laughs> register. Going on. Okay. Um, it's that time of year where you take a look at your preseason picks and you're wondering if you did the right thing or you didn't do the right thing. And. You know, my preseason selection of the MVP and Patrick Mahomes, I kind of like that. Looks pretty good. My preseason prediction of the Bucks winning the Super Bowl, I'm I'm not I'm not terribly pleased with that right now. Certainly in the fact that I chose the Bucks to win that division, that certainly doesn't look very good, but I chose Seattle to win the West and I chose the Eagles to win the East. I chose the Chiefs to win the West, Colts to win the South. That's looking good. And the Bills to an East, that looks good. So I need to revisit some of the other ones. Green Bay, I wish I'd chosen them. I can't revisit Minnesota. Mm -mm. And I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just not gonna talk about the Bucks right now. My choice of the AFC North, the Baltimore Ravens are two behind the Pittsburgh Steelers right now, with a half game also, because the Steelers have already beaten them. But I think Lamar is going to lead this team in a manner that we have not seen over the first half of the season. All of this conversation about the offense that's been talked about this week, they are going to reconfigure it. That the Ravens are going to win this game against New England and that the Ravens are going to win Thursday night, Thanksgiving night against the Pittsburgh Steelers and that they're going to beat the Tennessee Titans in between and then Dallas and then Cleveland, Jacksonville, then the Giants and then the Cincinnati Bengals. I say the Baltimore Ravens, eh, they still have a shot to win the AFC North. <laughs> I think they really got a shot. I mean, I just said that they're running the table right here, even if they don't. They could beat the Steelers, and then the Steelers didn't look like world beaters the last few weeks. Steelers might even lose to Joey Burrow this week. 
So I think the Ravens still have a shot to win the AFC North. That's my higher register. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done, guys. I love giving ourselves Gosh, a round of applause for higher segment. register. Ah, what a great segment. Uh, I think the Ravens have a shot. Not ready to give that one up yet. <laughs> I almost went the Vikings aren't out of the woods not yet. Dead yet. Yeah, but they're not dead yet. But for the for the division, Green Bay's not going to get caught. Green Bay would have to basically lose more than they win the rest of the way, and that ain't happening. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.